So there's a simple formula for overcoming obstacles and turning a negative situation into something that can help us move forward. Oftentimes when we look back, we see that the obstacle became the catalyst that caused us to change our course of action, later resulting in a much better situation. Um, I really just see two things in there. First of all, the obstacle is the way. How many times have we heard that before, right? That everything we want in life is on the other side of fear. So the things we fear the most are also the things that are going to give us the most growth and the things we want in life. But then it went into raft, which if you read redefining possible over summer, they went over as well. So we had some pretty cool tools. So this is, we've been introduced to this idea already, but I thought it was really cool that the first one is the first part of raft is realize an event is happening or has happened because you can't really start to fix a problem that you don't know exists, right? If you don't know it's a problem, you can't fix it, which I think is why it's so important to have community because it gives you different perspectives that you didn't even know about. So you can fix different parts of your, well, not necessarily fix, but you can grow in different parts of yourself that you yourself didn't see beforehand. Next thing is to accept the reality of the situation instead of ignoring, avoiding, or denying. I think the best example I have of this is like an Alcoholics Anonymous or Alcoholics Narcotic, Narcotics Anonymous. The first step for any of them is they have to accept the fact that they're an alcoholic or that they're dependent on something and that they need help. Like that is the first step for their trip to recovery. And it's the first step for you changing anything is that in that sense, it is taking accountability. You're accepting your situation like, okay, this is how it is. And then you get to focus on the controllables. You get to focus on what you can control, which is your effort and your attitude. And then you get to transform negative emotions into positive momentum. What are some examples in which Raft could have been used in the past year to help you problem solve or that you used it in the past year to problem solve? I would say the, one of the times I've used Raft was here at work. When I first started this job, um, it was just a different management style than I was used to. I was used to basically like, uh, you know, a soft, um, if you do this wrong, like just do better next time. Not like if you mess up something, get you screamed at kind of thing. Um, so like realizing that and then um, the feelings and emotions I had was like, I really don't want to work here. And I think this is horrible. I think I want to quit. So then accepting my situation after that was, um, that I got this job for a reason and that whatever's happening is happening for a reason. So then like, you know, going through raft and then toward the end, transforming those negative emotions of, I don't want to work here because of it's hard or to I'm working here because it's hard and I need to learn from it. So, yeah. Um, so I think the best example of raft that I have is literally uh, scheduling my uh, thesis presentation because I was supposed to do that. <laughs> The week of Thanksgiving, but I didn't. Um, I forgot about it until literally yesterday. And I realized that I hadn't scheduled that yet. And I was like, if I don't present this, I can't graduate. I have to pay like $4,000 to wait until next semester to talk about something that I've already finished doing. So I was freaking out. I was like, okay, cool. So going to email my uh, coordinator and my professor that I haven't talked to since April. We're going to email them with my situation and just see what comes back. And they did, and they were super enthusiastic. And I was like, in the meantime, I'm just going to focus on giving the bet, like making my slides and editing my thesis as best as I can. Cause regardless of what happens, this is going to be bomb. And then with that, all of those negative, it would be really easy for me to get like really overwhelmed and negative, right? Just kind of be like, okay, why even try? Why even bother? Like I'm done at this point. I failed, but I took it and I was like, you know what? This is why it's going to be the best that it can be. This is why my, like, this is the crowning achievement of everything that I've learned in college. So let's make it the best that it can be.